Today, we would like to present the effectiveness of social media in introducing and enhancing brand image. Enjoy! Background of the study Business phenomena nowadays is more into virtual marketing activity. Most of the company is start to rely on internet and technology. Hence, we can conclude that currently, that digi digital marketing activities is at the growth stage. Why the marketers start getting interested about the virtual marketing activity? It is because there are big potential to build emotional attachment and strong bonds with the customer through online setting based on the article written by Hudson in 2016. The F&B industry is the world's largest industry with regards to both revenue and employment. Nowadays, the food and beverages market is rising due to clear target market and interesting marketing activity in social media. Statement of problem Social media has become an effective integrated marketing communications channel where it allows a well-known business to establish a strong relationship with their customers. Websites and internet branding are affecting on transferring brand image and relationship with potential and actual customers of institution. The world of the internet is fantastic. It is the way we engage, exchange knowledge, and live a quality life continues to transform. The uncontrollable of trendy advertisement through social media push the food and beverages industry to keep up to date. In this research, we have developed four research questions, which is first, is there any significant relationship between advertising awareness and brand image of social media among young adults? Second, is there any significant relationship between price awareness and brand image of social media among young adults? Third, is there any significant relationship between brand awareness and brand image of social media among young adults? Fourth, in the, is there any significant relationship between social media marketing activity and brand image of social media among young adults? Research Objectives First, to determine a significant relationship between advertising awareness and brand image of social media among young adults. Second, to determine a significant relationship between price awareness and brand image of social media among young adults. Third, to determine a significant relationship between brand awareness and brand image of social media among young adults. Four, to determine a significant relationship between social media activity and brand image of social media among young adults. The scope of this study is focused on marketing from the perspective of social media effectiveness towards brand image. The methodology conducted by utilize quantitative methods that will be conducted to young adults, consumers from various backgrounds that are exposed with social media. Next is literature review. In this literature review, it will be explained the main variables that involve in this First is brand image. Brand image is a attribute that shape the meaning and perceptions of a brand by consumers, including physical and functional characteristics such as packaging and physical appearance, as well as intangible attributes such as belief, feelings, associations, and symbolic meaning related to the brand. Based on a research by Kotler in 2020, Brand image is defined as a set of belief, ideas, and impression that a person creates for an object and state that the image of that object is highly conditioned by attitudes and action towards an object such as product or service. Secondly is advertising awareness. Based on a previous research, advertising awareness is determined by the promotional awareness since they have top of customer mind. The research by Al-Haddad in 2019 
2015 said that advertising recognition has a positive impact on the reputation of the brand. Next is price awareness. Price awareness can be described as the ability to keep a price in mind even if that particular price has not been faced recently. Based on a previous research by Al Haddad in 2015, it assumed that there are two reasons why buyers may recall and recognize the brand. Firstly, it is because they recall the price of the brand and secondly, it is because the price evaluation which encode in their memory. Next is brand awareness. Brand awareness is refers to the consumer ability to identify a brand or memorize the brand in another situation. Based on the previous research in 2016, the researcher has pointed out that brand awareness is the understanding of a specific brand by an individual and is not limited to customer knowledge of the brand name and previous brand exposure. Lastly, the social media marketing activity. Social media marketing involves the development and deployment of marketing strategy using a social media platform to communicate brand-related information and to manage the relationship with customer. The content from the social media is necessary to create an effective brand because repeated and regular media awareness will increase the probability of brand awareness and brand re retention in mind of customers. Therefore, through the brand awareness and brand retention that build in customer mind, it will be increasing the brand image of the product or the brand. Next is research framework. This study is conducted by using specified model which clearly defined as independent variable and dependent variables. In figure 2.1, it showed that the proposal of research framework where the dependent variable consists of advertising awareness, price awareness, brand awareness, and social media marketing activity. While for the dependent variable, it is only consists of brand image. Next is research hypothesis. In this research, there are four hypotheses that have been proposed. In the first hypothesis is, there is a significant relationship between advertising awareness and brand image. Second, there is a significant relationship between price awareness and brand image. Third, there is a significant relationship between brand awareness and brand image. And the fourth, there is a significant relationship between social marketing activity and brand image. Next, I will proceed with the methodology. In methodology, it will contain the research design planning. A research design is needed to be prepared for the data collection and analysis which it which it will involve the decision making regarding sampling design process, data collection procedure, research instrument, measurement of variables, as well as the statistical tools that used in data analysis. First is source of data. There are two types of data that used in this research. The first is primary data that are collected from the young adult in Kota Kinabalu through a question A that will be distributed via online. Second is secondary data. The secondary data were collected from the previous of journal research. Next is the research design. In this research, we have using a descriptive research and casual research. For the research ins research instrument, we have developed a question A form for this research, and the question A development is consists of the five variables, and each of the variable will consist of three question, and the total of question that will be used in this research is fifteen question. 
the sampling that we use in this research is the young adult around Kota Kinabalu that have an interest on popular food and beverage and the total of sample that we use is 40 samples. Lastly, the sampling technique. In sampling technique, we are using non-probability sampling technique and pro probability sampling technique where it consists of the convenient sampling, judgmental sampling, simple random sampling, and systematic sampling. All of these sampling technique have their own advantages and dis disadvantages on our research. So that's all from us. Thank you.